The global supply chain for high-end semiconductors will soon take a significant turn through a sleepy yet suddenly revitalized southwestern Japan. The world's largest chipmaker, Taiwan Semiconductor, next year will open its latest high-end chip fab, a more than $8 billion behemoth in Kumamoto Prefecture on southern Kyushu Island. Strategically located not only because of where it sits geographically, but because, well, it's not in Taiwan. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway recently divested its entire stake in TSMC, largely because of the threat of China taking over Taiwan as U.S.-China ties deteriorate. We're not looking to decouple from China. We're looking to de-risk and diversify. And that's where Japan steps in. Once a world leader in chip manufacturing, Japan has lost market share to regional rivals, South Korea, Taiwan, and mainland China. The Japanese government wants to reverse that, aiming to triple Made in Japan semiconductors and related materials to $113 billion by 2030. Kyushu was once called Silicon Island, home to many semiconductor companies. The Japanese government hopes that this Silicon Island can be reborn in the future, and I want Kumamoto to be the center of that. Taiwan Semiconductor is not the only major chip maker to consider expanding capacity here in Japan. Fumio Kishida, the Prime Minister of Japan, invited the heads of major chip companies, including TSMC, but also IBM, Intel, Applied Materials, Samsung, also Micron, to the G7 meetings to try and lure them to invest more in Japan. Friendshoring of the global chip supply chain is how some Americans call it. Friendshoring is about deepening relationships and diversifying our supply chains with a greater number of trusted trading partners. Hence, TSMC is also building new fabs in the United States and plans another, possibly in Germany. I do think this attempt by Japan to bring in the semiconductor uh, industry from around the world is, is quite significant in, in terms of not only the economy, but also in terms of uh, strengthening uh, e economic security. For once moribund regional economies like Kumamoto's, the flood of new investment feels like a much-needed transfusion. The recent population growth and rising land prices in industrial areas are among the highest in Japan. Near the TSMC construction site, other major companies are renting rooms for 200,000 yen, an unheard of amount in that area. Adding to concerns about resource shortages and worsening traffic. And yet, after decades of diminished global supply chain relevance, these are problems and new jobs remote Japan may actually welcome. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Hiroshima.